Hey everyone, so this is part two of the dewinterization video. So I've flushed the antifreeze out of the system. Now what I want to do is come in and sanitize the fresh tank. So I'll take you through the steps that I go through and I do the sanitation second because I want to not only get all the antifreeze, antifreeze out of the lines, I want to sanitize the lines inside the camper as well. So the first thing that you're going to need is you're going to need some sort of bleach, Clorox that you can use in the system. And so you're going to need about two ounces or a quarter cup of the bleach per 15 gallons. And since the base camp freshwater tank, uh, depending on the model that you have, ranges between 23 to 27 gallons. So I'll just assume 30. So I'm going to use four ounces or a half a cup of bleach. Now, what you're going to want to put that in is a gallon of water as a mixture so that you're not just pouring Clorox or the bleach down into the inlet for the water. So instead of doing that, I'm gonna use a little trick that I had seen for the National RV Training Academy. So I've turned the water off of my hose. I'm actually gonna put the bleach down in my hose. It still has water in it, because I haven't drained it all off. I've just taken the, uh, the nozzle off of it. So I'll put the bleach in. I'm lucky enough that my wife has this little measuring cup that we use for draining off grease and the others. And this nozzle works really well and I literally I'm just going to put the bleach down into the hose so what that'll allow is the bleach to mix with the water that's already down in the hose it'll also somewhat clean the hose as well hopefully I'm not going to get any debris or anything else from the hose in here so if you give me just a second, I'm going to pause, turn the water on, and then I'm going to put the water hose here, and then we'll start filling up the tank. So be right back. Okay, so have the hose into the freshwater intake. The water and the bleach are now all being flushed into the tank. What I have found, uh, depending on how high I turn the water pressure on, is that it takes anywhere from five to seven minutes for me to come in, use the city water connection, and to fill up the fresh water tank. So at this point, we're gonna sit and go for five to seven minutes, let this fill up, then I'll take you inside, and I'll show you how to sanitize the lines inside, and we're gonna let that sit overnight. Okay, so now that we have our fresh water tank full, it has the bleach solution, next we wanna sanitize the lines inside the camper. So we've already flushed the lines with antifreeze, in the video one that I had done. The next step is we're going to come back in and we'll take a look quickly at the hose down at the bottom, uh, making sure that I don't have it turned to the winterization kit. Then we'll turn on the pump, we're we'll turning the water, the pump should prime the system, water should flow through the faucet, we'll get some water to go through the shower, and now we'll have all the lines that have uh, bleach in those, and I'll do cold and hot. The difference on the, the suburban system that we have is that you can actually have antifreeze and water go through uh, but a, some people don't like to do that some do it's not the same as a traditional tank system when you have the tank list so i'm gonna have that go through we'll let that sanitize and then we'll flush the tanks as the next step so if you'll take a look down below and if you can see there is the hose for the winterization kit and there's a valve. This valve is turned and pointed up the line up to the pump. So that's letting us know that the water will flow here. If this valve is turned to the clear line, then it's going to try and pull air out of this line and still pull water out of the, out of the tank. So we'll turn on our pump to prime the system. So the pump comes. You heard it run for a little bit, so it's now pulled water into the pump, into the system. So I want to come through and turn on the cold water. So now I'm getting the fresh water flushed out, the bleach water. Okay, so I can start smelling a little bit of the bleach solution that's now into the sink. I'll do the same with the shower as we come in. Just want to get enough so that we're coming in with a shower and then I can turn on the cold water and get some of that coming through. So I'm going to come, turn on the cold water. All right. 
And so that should be enough that we've gone through and we've gotten water into the faucet line and into the shower line. And now we can let both the tank and the water line sanitize overnight. So we'll come back after it's set overnight. We'll flush out the system as the next step and let you see how to now have <clears throat> everything from video one with antifreeze out to with a sanitized tank and then go through the steps to make sure that you're good to go when you want to dewinterize yourself. Okay, so next step. We filled up the tank with the sanitized solution. I've let it set for a little over 24 hours. We ran some water through the lines inside to make sure that we were gonna get the lines sanitized as well as the tank. So the next step is drain the tank. So we're gonna come in. Let me see if I can put you on pause, switch to the other view. Okay, so I've opened up my line to make sure that it was topped off because I did put a little bit of extra water um, in through the lines. So I'm gonna come underneath and I'm gonna open up the valve for the fresh water tank. So this will allow us to drain the sanitized water, the Clorox solution out. I'll open up the low point drains. I'll let both of those drain out as well. And then the process for cleaning out or draining the, uh, the tank itself usually takes me about an hour and 15 to an hour and 45. Now, the one thing that I did not do on this particular um, exercise is I did not raise up the tank. And what I mean by that is uh, the tank is flat on the bottom here. And there, as you see, there's from the bottom of the tank up to the drain, there's a little bit of space, which means there's gonna be a little bit of water that stays inside the tank. One of the ways that you can minimize this is by on the passenger side, going over and putting a chalk on the tires on the passenger side, which I didn't do on this one. I just have them chalked, but you can take that, raise up the passenger side so that the tank is more tilted and you get a little bit more of that water that comes out. I'll drain all of this out, close this valve, and then I'm actually gonna fill it up with water one more time because I like to get at least two full tanks of water in and flush through to make sure that I've gotten all the bleach out of the system. The next step after this is drained, we'll come back and then I'm actually gonna take and hook up the fresh water back up to the uh, fresh water inlet. And I'm gonna use the city water in the, in the uh, sorry, not the fresh water inlet, in the city water inlet. I'm gonna use the, the city water to flush out the lane the lines inside of the base camp. So we'll let this drain. We'll come back once it's drained and then we'll go through and flush the lines inside from all the bleach solution. Okay, so I've drained all the water out of the tank. Come back and I've closed up the line here. I closed down my two um, uh, low point drains. And so now we'll go inside and we'll flush piping inside to finish up the last step. Okay, so I'm back inside the camper. We've drained the sanitized solution, the bleach solution out of the fresh tank, closed the low point drains. Now I've hooked up the city water on the outside. And we're gonna come inside and I'm gonna take and flush just cold water through the line, both here in the sink and in the toilet to get any of that bleach solution out. So you can sniff the water and just make sure so there's not any bleach solution left, but I'll just let it run for a little while. We've got plenty of space in my gray tank uh, to handle the extra water coming through. I'll do it both for the cold and for the hot to make sure that I don't have any bleach solution left in either the cold or the hot lines. So I'll do this here. Switch it over to hot. I hear the Suburban kicking on for the, uh, the hot water. So there's a little bit of air that's getting in the system, uh, part of the draining, low point drains, and just going through the hot water heater or the water heater. So let this flush for a little while. And then take it as long as you feel comfortable to where you can fit your hand under the water. You don't smell the Clorox or the bleach anymore to make sure that you've gotten all of that out. Uh, and it's a comfort as to how long you want it to go through to make sure that you sanitize those lines, but you're also not drinking any of the bleach from that point. Then we'll come in, open up the shower. 
And then we'll do the same here with the cold water. Just put this in the toilet. Kind of hard to do with two hands. And then I'll go through and turn on the cold, turn on the hot, and make sure that we flushed out that line. And then we're done from that standpoint as far as going through and sanitizing the freshwater tank and the sanitizing the lines inside. Okay, so now that you've gone through in video one, flushed out the antifreeze of the system. Video two, sanitized your tank, sanitize your lines and flush those out with the city water. The question you can also ask is, well, could I do those in reverse order? And the answer is yes. You could actually fill the fresh tank, sanitize the solution, use the sanitized water to flush the antifreeze out of your solution or out of your lines and make sure that that solution is clear and has gone through. Uh, a lot of times when we're going camping, we're mainly in campgrounds, but occasionally we're boondocking. So I have a tendency to flush the antifreeze first so that if we go to a campground, we're good. Uh, and then I usually sanitize the fresh tank prior to going to the campground. The other part is of sanitizing the fresh tank because it does take sometimes an hour and a half or so to to get that cleaned out or an hour 45 depending on how quickly the water flows out if i've sometimes i'll you know take the passenger side i'll put a ramp under it enter some blocks or something and raise up that side to get more of the water out of the fresh tank and i usually fill it with sanitized solution then come back and flush it twice to make sure i've gotten all the bleach out of the tank uh it takes a little while to go through and do all of that over a couple of days by doing the antifreeze first for me, I get all of that out of the system and then I'm just working and getting the lines clean inside and I don't have any mixture of antifreeze and bleach together. It's doing two separate things. But if you want to do one versus the other, feel free to go in and to do that and to and do the sanitation first and then antifreeze or you can do as I do, antifreeze first, flushing the system and then sanitizing the tank. So hopefully that answers your questions. If you have more questions, uh, feel free to ask those in the comments. I'll be try to get back to you as quick as I can or post a comment inside of the Facebook group. Uh, and then let me know what other questions you may have or other videos you'd like to see as we go through and as I work on learning the system and making sure that I'm doing things right myself in the system. If you've noticed that I've missed anything or that I'm doing a step that you prefer to do differently, feel free to let me know as well. Uh, what I'm doing is not perfect, but it's what I've learned over time and felt that I was comfortable with, and hopefully it helps you as you go through. So thanks, have a good day, click like, subscribe, and let me know where else I can help you.